Good afternoon, everybody. It's Lynn, the Leather Bag Lady. How are you all today? It's um, Monday today. It's Valentine's Day today. And it's my birthday today. So, um, just another day. Unfortunately, uh, my own fault. I could have had plans for today, but I don't know. I just am getting a little, little bah humbug, I think. But heard from lots of people today, so thank you to any of you out there who have wished me many happy returns. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, I have lots of friends, not uh, that I spend a lot of time with a lot of people, but um, I do have lots of people that I can connect with if I so choose. And um, not doing enough of that uh, in the last few months so we've talked about that before but I'm going to be making changes uh, coming up so I'll keep you posted and all that um, woke up with a beautiful cold sore I suffer from them never in this spot though usually it's always over here so I don't know I think I got myself a little bit worked up having a birthday on Valentine's Day is tough especially when you're on your own and knowing that you probably won't hear from the people you really want to hear from is tough too. So anyway, enough said. Today's bag is gorge. Gorge, 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 gorgeous. Love it. Um, it's not a particularly old bag. It's probably, let me see. Yeah. And I don't even know if these uh, slip pockets are meant for a phone because they're the exact same size, which would which would maybe tell me that they're just slip pockets. The smell of leather off this bag is just amazing. Here is the bag. How gorgeous is this? This very Bottega Veneta woven leather. It is just beautiful. It is so soft. I wouldn't be surprised if this wasn't lamb. Really, really, really super soft. And all the pieces are in excellent condition. There's no damage. There's no pieces that are pulling or anything like that. The only area where there is a little bit of damage my favorite, the goddamn glazing. Just a tiny little bit missing right here. And the same on the other side, right there. Other than that, the bag is in perfect condition. Beautiful, long 26 inch strap drop. Uh, you can make it shorter. There's uh, other holes to make it quite a bit shorter. I could probably even put another hole in it, but I'm not because it really is long enough. Um, inside, it's beautiful inside. Here's the two uh, slip pockets that are very uniform, exact same size. So I really, could you fit a phone in there? Yes. Are they made for a phone? Typically, when you find a slip pocket that's a phone, it's smaller or it's a different size than the one beside it. So... That's why I'm a little suspect that they, it wasn't intended for a phone. Now, the company is American Leather Co. Out of Dallas, Texas. Was established in 1990. Um, has over 600 employees now. So this is a fairly big uh, company. Beautiful zipper. Just gorgeous bag. Gorgeous. I cannot simple could it do with a tassel maybe maybe <laughs> i could see myself putting a tassel on this bad boy so that's today's bag beautiful inside uh zipper pocket two slip pockets that's today's bag so there you go now i'm sure you can see the sun just wafting in my window here leather bag lady weather report it's a gorgeous day but it's cold i think it's minus 15 minus 16 with the wind chill it is really quite chilly i've been out already at the post office i had 
a very large order of bags going out today. So much so that I contacted the uh, buyer to make sure it was correct. Um, you know, sometimes you hit a favorite button and maybe you hit buy instead. And Holy, it's a first. It's a first. Never had that many bags go out. I think it was 10 of them go out. Like, wow, crazy. But very appreciative. Thank you, Anna. Um, they're on their way to the States, sunny California. So um, I really do appreciate that. I don't know if you watch the videos. If you do, I really appreciate it. And um, yeah, so that is what I've been up to today. I don't know if you're going to be able to see my new vintage uh, desk chair. Isn't that beautiful? Got a little bit of damage on it, but uh, it's not very comfortable, but I don't care. <laughs> it looks amazing. Yeah, like I'm doing a lot of work in here. We're all clear through here. I got a new little storage cart. You can see that. Marketplace. Why would you buy anything new? I, I'm almost, I've made a, a kind of a fun game out of clearing out the house. I'm trying to get at least a dollar for everything that leaves the house. So um, thank you, Lynn, for allowing me to sell the uh, chair you gave me. The lady was so thrilled with it. She was an older lady and will just love it the way it is. Uh, thought it might be a good project chair, but holy man, it was heavy. This chair here weighs a ton. Um, it was repair has a repair stamp on it from 1980. So it's probably, I'm going to say it's probably a 50s, 50s chair. But like I said, it's not very comfortable. I'm going to have to get a new cushion for it because it, it's not comfortable at all. But I'm not planning on doing as much sitting on my ass as I have been doing. So I'm going to try and get involved in some small business groups. Um, yeah, just try and force myself to get out a little bit more. Doing way too much hanging out at home. Not good for me at all. It's, uh, it's getting... Yeah, I'm almost getting a little, uh, like, what's that word? Um, not claustrophobic. What's the word? Agoraphobia or some? I'm not sure. But, yeah, I got to I gotta get cracking, getting out. I went to my girlfriend's last night for Super Bowl. What a halftime show that was, eh? It was, it was cool. And there was a bunch of young people with us who kind of grew up more in the 90s. Um, and they just knew every word of every song. It was really cute to see them uh, kind of rhyme off all those uh, hip-hop songs. But anyway, history piece before we go. Yves Saint Laurent. So we started with Yves Saint Laurent last week. Um, so Yves Saint Laurent invented the pantsuit in 1966. I don't know. Did he really invent the pantsuit? Maybe the tuxedo look pantsuit. And that is always in his collections in some form or another. So there you go. That's our history piece today. And maybe in keeping with that, I'll give you the next one. Bianca Jagger wore one of his tuxedo jackets, um, a smoking jacket at her wedding to Mick Jagger. So... I guess when these celebrities uh, use designers, I guess that's why they can't wait to give them stuff for free. <laughs> so they'll wear it and it'll be all over the, well, the internet now. Back then it would have been just uh, in the newspaper, on the TV, that kind of thing. So there we go. That's our history piece for today. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. A little bah humbug for me, as I said. Am I going anywhere? Nope. Am I doing anything? Nope. I don't want to go out with this freaking thing on my face. I might go out and get myself something nice for dinner tonight. I bought myself a little slice of cake from the grocery store. Maybe I'll stick a candle in it and blow it out. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm meeting up with my sister and my mom on Wednesday. Because everybody has their own Valentine's Day plans with their significant other. So I always end up... Um, I did hear from Bruce today, so that was nice. I really appreciated that. Uh, a little bit of a class act there, I think. Uh, we didn't end on the greatest of terms, so it was nice of him to wish me happy birthday. So anyway, have a great day, everybody. Don't do anything I wouldn't do.
talk to you tomorrow. Bye.